Good morning. It is February 16th and it is this lady's birthday. And we are starting our day at the El Rastro Flea Market. It's a huge flea market that's like, I think I read it's about 4,000 stalls. Just like goes all over the streets down here. And we're just gonna walk our way through. We got a few things we wanna buy. We're gonna try and find them. It's um, just a little busy today. Okay, that was insane. It was like double as packed as it was when I was here this summer. So the only purchase made was these sunglasses. We're on our way to my favorite market, the San Miguel Tapas Market. And while we're walking there, we are passing the oldest restaurant in the world. That's it, right there. When I was here in August with Garrett, we went and had dinner there. It was definitely a tourist trap, a little overrated and definitely too expensive, but it was cool to say we ate at the oldest restaurant in the world. We have the goods. I've been hyping this calamari up for like six months now. Is it everything I've hyped it up to be? Oh! I just... They're just so big and mm. chewy. They're so good! So we got the shrimp as well. That's really good. It's seasoned very well. Yeah, that's really good. That was good. Slightly disappointed it wasn't as good as I remembered it being this summer, but it is also winter, so maybe the fish is different. I got a skewer of fruit. at the palace and we're going in this time see look at the line this is why you go on a Monday and not on a busy busy Saturday we're inside the front courtyard and even though Christiana is officially a real adult and shouldn't be allowed to get student prices they let her get one only <laughs> seven euros with your student car otherwise it's 13 Look at that line now. And that's why you get up and go in the morning and not wait till the afternoon. Next up, churros and chocolate. Ah, 
churros and chocolate time. We have got cappuccinos as well. Yum. It's a little later in the afternoon, like six o'clock, and I'm so excited because look where we are. It's Orange Theory Madrid. We're coming to take a class. We made it in, and this is such a nice locker room. Look at this. Bathrooms all around, lockers, lockers. Oh, and all these showers. I must say, Madrid, this is the nicest locker room I've ever seen in an Orange Theory. We did it! Woo! Orange Theory Fitness in Madrid. It was so much fun, and honestly, we were able to like follow along. And actually, I understood what he was saying like 20% of the time. Yeah. So that's like pretty he good. Up on it. Pretty good. This is dinner. We got some poke bowls, spicy tuna, teriyaki salmon. Yum! Look how cute this place is. Last breakfast in the hostel, which means one more time of ham and cheese. We are over by the Retiro Park, about to go in, and this is the Alcala Gate. It is older, it's from 1778, it's older than the Arc de Triomphe in Paris and the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> How Adriana gets ready. It takes her five years. She has five million layers. Oh, and don't forget. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? This is a great couple's place to go and have a romantic date, just like us. <laughs> La dee dee. walked over to the Palacio de Cristal right here behind us hidden by some trees right now and there is a free art exhibit by Hassan Khan Palacio de Cristal mostly glass this building gorgeous <laughs> So 
so Retiro Park is like two minutes up that way and then here is the Prado. Huge art museum. Would probably take you two to three hours to walk through and see it all, but if you love art, gotta see it. Get them goods. And just like that, our time together is over. Walking to the metro stop now where we will part ways as Christiana heads to the airport and I'm going to the train station. This is it. This is where we split. Have a safe flight. Thanks. Bye. Three, two, one, have fun.